What are some of your tips if someone, obviously they want to use startvirtual.com, but if they want to do the first VA or something like that, what, what are some tips you can give for someone to look out for a bad apple versus a good VA? Oh, for sure. So I love that question because I think sometimes people go into hiring a virtual assistant with the wrong, you know, expectation. And the, the thing people have to realize is people are people. And so sometimes, you know, you may hire somebody and they're not a good fit and it's just fire them quick and then get them replaced with somebody else. But, you know, the way to have the most success with virtual assistants is integrating them into your culture for your business. So if you're doing team meetings or partner meetings and, you know, different meetings with your team, having your virtual assistants be a part of those meetings, because what do people want at the end of the day with, with their work? They want to feel like they're a part of something. They want to feel like they're getting contribution. They want to feel significance. They want to feel like they're, their, you know, their voice is being heard. Um, they don't want to be treated like a robot. I see the people that have the least success with virtual assistants are the people that treat their VAs like they're not even human. They don't treat them, you know, like they're actually part of the business. So the way to get the best results is bringing them on and having them, you know, be a part of the, the training and the culture and the different things you're doing within your business. Cause that's what at the end of the day is going to have them excited to be around long-term with you too. So um, the other things we do, you know, we do a lot of, you know, we do daily huddles with our, our team, you know, in the morning, Matt's running those and then call calibrations weekly. So if they're cold calling, pulling some of their recordings and listening to them of the calls they're making and give them coaching, you know, the, the, the managers that start virtual, they help do that as well. But if you have certain types of strategies, like for us, like we buy wholesale deals, we buy subject to, we buy, you know, seller finance deals. So we coach our team on how to understand how to have those conversations with these homeowners. And so, you know, the more that you pour into your people, whether they're virtual assistants or not, the better results people are going to get. But managing expectations of if you are not, you know, number one, if you're not in a position financially to, you know, be paying for marketing for multiple months in a row, it's probably not a good fit to pay for, you know, a virtual assistant, you know, it's just not, you know, you should start with some of the more affordable lead gen strategies like driving for dollars or, you know, JVing on deals or, you know, not door knocking until you have a little bit more capital to spend on marketing is definitely my recommendation there too.